In today's episode, you will learn how to control a robot car wirelessly using Arduino L298 in motor driver and 433 MHz RF transmitter and receiver. The robot control system can be activated and deactivated using the built-in joystick push button. Depending on the movement of the joystick and the value of the VRX and VRY, the speed of the DC motors can be controlled in real time, which gives you more control over the robot car. This is the second version of the robot car. While in the first version I used an Android cell phone, to control the robot car using the HC05 Bluetooth module. The link is given in the description. Today's episode is based on my previous two tutorials. In this tutorial, I explained how to assemble the robot parts and how to use the L298 in motor driver to control the forward, left, right and reverse movement. In this tutorial, I also explained how to control the speed of a DC motor using the pulse width modulation. While well, in this tutorial I explain the joystick pinouts, its basic working principle, its interfacing with Arduino and basic programming to control some LEDs depending on the movement of the joystick. If you are a beginner and you have never used the joystick module and L298 in motor driver, then I highly recommend you should first watch these tutorials and then you can resume from here. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. All the connections are exactly the same as explained in my previous tutorial. The only modification that I did is the addition of the 433 MHz RF receiver module. The VCC pin of the receiver module is connected with the 5 volts. The ground pin of the receiver is connected with the Arduino's ground. While the data pin of the receiver is connected with pin number 3 of the Arduino. Everything else remains the same as explained in the getting started tutorial. This is the joystick transmitter side. The 433 MHz RF transmitter VCC pin is connected with the Arduino's 5 volt. The ground pin of the transmitter is connected with the Arduino's ground, while the data pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 12. As you can see, I have also soldered a wire with the transmitter to slightly increase the range. While the joystick connections are exactly the same as explained in the joystick getting started tutorial, you can find links in the description. So that's all about the hardware. Now let's have a look at the transmitter and receiver programming. This project is based on two programs. This program is written for the transmitter while this program is written for the receiver side. First let's start with the transmitter programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download the virtual wire library. Constant integer transmit underscore pin is equal to 12. The transmitter data pin is connected with pin number 12 of the Arduino. Unsigned integer M length. The M length variable will be used to store the message size. Integer button F is equal to 0. This variable will be used to store the on off status of the joystick push button. As the VCC pin of the transmitter is connected with the Arduino's 5 volt, so I use the pin number 7 of the Arduino's to provide 5 volts to the joystick VCC pin. So the joystick will be powered up using pin number 7 of the Arduino. Integer button is equal to 4. Joystick button is connected with pin number 4. The VRX and VRY pins of the joystick are connected with the analog pins A1 and A2. 
Well, these two variables will be used to store the values coming from the VRX and VRY pins. In the write setup function, we only set the baud rates and set the pins to input and output using the pin mode function. Then starts the write loop function. Control function is a user defined function. The purpose of this function is to change the status of the button if variable from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 0 each time the joystick button is pressed. If button if is equal to is equal to 1. If the button if value is 1 then simply read the VRX and VRY pins and store the values and variables X data and Y data and then using the send data function the X data, Y data, and button if values are sent to the receiver. If button if is equal to is equal to zero. If the button if value is zero, then simply send a string message consisting of zeros. As I said earlier, send data is a user defined function. This function takes three arguments as the input the VRX value, VRY value, and the button if status. Then we create a string message from these values and use comma as the delimiter. Then we find the number of characters using the length function. Then using vw underscore send function, the message is sent and at the end we empty the message. The white control function is already explained which is used to change the status of the button if variable each time the joystick button is pressed. Now let's have a look at the receiver programming. Constant integer receive underscore pin equals 3. The receiver data pin is connected with pin number 3 of the Arduino. Define two variables of the type string for storing the string message sent by the transmitter. Then I defined some variables for storing the VRX, VRY and button status values. Defined pins for the L298 in motor driver. I'm using the same pins which I used in the getting started tutorial and also in version 2. In write setup function, we set the baud rates and the Arduino pins. All the pins are set to output. Then starts the while loop function. These are the instructions which I have already explained in my tutorial control anything wirelessly using 433 MHz RF transmitter and receiver. I will provide links of all the related tutorials. We add the received characters with a message to make a complete message and store the complete message in variable myString which is of the type string. Then we split the entire message using the getValue function and store the strings and variables L, M, and n which are also of the type string. Then we convert these strings to integer. This condition means if the joystick is at a normal position. Then simply turn off both the motors. This condition means if the button status is zero then turn off both the motors. For the forward movement the value of the x increases from 510 to 1023 while the value of the y stays between 480 and 510. These values can be different for you. You can check these values as explained in my previous tutorial. So this condition is used to check if the value of the VRX is increasing. Then using the MAP function, the minimum and maximum values are set. As the VRX value increases, the speed increases. And then this mapped values are used in the analog write function to control the speed and turn on the desired pins to achieve the forward movement with controlled speed. The same method is used in the reverse left and right movement. Get value is a user defined function and it takes three arguments as the input, the data, separator which is comma in our case and the index. 
This function is used to split the string message. I've used this function in so many tutorials. These programs can be downloaded from my blog page. I have already uploaded these programs. Let's watch this project in action. In the next version, I will use a different technology to control the same robot. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.